What would you say if I tell you that you don't need any expensive plugins to make amazing sounds for your track? Today I'm going to show you how to make an amazing sounding chicane style plugged for your next hit using just Ableton's own wavetable and its effects. Let's go. So what we're gonna need for start is of course Ableton Live and of course a wave table. You can find it in your instruments and double click and it's gonna come here in the bottom. There's an absolutely amazing trick to wave table because you can import any waves you want. I don't want to use this basic saw, you know, uh, we need something more nice. So I have one which I extracted from this plugin called Diva and it has a different shape and I like how it sounds, it's much, much nicer. So let's let's bring it up. To do that, you just have to go to your samples or you can just import it from any other directory and let's type in Diva and there we go and you just drag and drop. And then there it is. Just need to click on the raw button to make it visible and then there you go. So this is how it sounds. Well, not very interesting, right? It's like, ah, sound piercing. Okay, but we need to turn this into a plug. Plug is a very short sounding sound. You're like, click, click, click. So what are we gonna do? First, we're gonna cut it out. And we change this to 24 dB per octave, which is a slope, and listen to this. And what we want is this exact sound. How do we do that so it does it automatically? Well, there is a little trick to everything, which is called envelope. So I'm gonna click on envelope two here, you know, and we assign it to this frequency. In wavetable, click on the matrix, envelope two, and here, click on the filter, and change this value to 100. So what it does now, it listens to the envelope of the cutoff. So let's see what it does if I just push the button. Oh, nothing, why? Because the frequency is all the way up, because we put the matrix all the way up. If I put it down, it's slowly opening up because of how this envelope is set up. Let's put it back up and turn this frequency all the way down. We are getting somewhere. Okay, so let's set up the envelope the way where it sounds epic like a plug. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna change the DK to 1.3 seconds. To do that, you just type in here 1300, like 1300 milliseconds. There you go. And we're gonna pull this all the way down. So the sustain is gonna go all the way down. And we can make a very nice slope all the way down. And here we go. I think that release on the cutoff could be a little bit longer, so let's give it a little bit more. Beautiful. And that's basically it. This is how that basic plug sounds. And we just want to make it nicer. If you want to make it a little bit softer, you can come into the matrix and decrease the filter down. I'm gonna put it to like 90. Because I like it very much. Now the next thing, what we want is this to sound a little bit more analog. How do we do that so it sounds a little bit more analog? Well, we can't do it because it's a digital thing, but we can make it think that something is happening with the sound. So what we can do, we can assign the detune to the LFO1, so it's gonna go and change over time. So it would do something like this. Of course, I exaggerated it, but we're gonna just set it up just right. So we go to the matrix LFO, and we want to I assigned it to detune here. And this is where we come to a problem. It won't let us. What do we do? Well, of course, we can assign it to the pitch and just set the value, let's say, to two. So two semitones. Let's see how it's gonna sound. That's crazy. The problem is because of the rate, the rate is way too fast. So right now, if I push it, ah, that's a little bit too much. So we can decrease the amount, let's say 20%. But it still sounds the same, right? The problem is, because this R is a re-trigger button, it's still starting that LFO from the beginning when I push the keys. So I'm gonna click on this one. And see, now it's like floating around. So we decrease the amount to like 10% and change the rate to be a little bit longer. So now it's moving around. If you take your tuner from the audio effects, you can see when I'm pushing one key, let's push A. It changes. 
exactly as if you would have a hardware device. Now we're still a little bit too much on that pitch, so I'm gonna click here on the matrix and change this to 0 0.5. And maybe we can make that rate a little bit faster. Even faster. I think we can also detune it a little bit because the wave is not tuned correctly. So it moves up and down in between. So I would say 8 cents here would be perfect. So now it's much more analogy sounding. Now when I'm doing this, I'm actually thinking like what other sounds you guys would like to learn. So please let me know in the comments, okay? And then I can do some more videos for you. We need to add some effects, you know, to make this sound good. So how about we start with the reverb? So let's pull in the reverb from your audio effects over here. And let's just set it up. Of course, we want the quality to be high. We want some low cut, of course. Let's change the center frequency to about two and a half thousand. Bandwidth to about 7.5. DK time to about six seconds. Oh, I forgot I have to type in 6,000. So we have a six seconds. Let's add some low cut here to our diffusion as well. And let's pull this down all the way down at about 80 to 85 hertz. It'll be perfect. And some more highs here. We just add maybe 30% and like 2 dB diffusion. Let's see what's, what we're gonna do. So that's pretty cool, but we basically want this plug to be plucky. You know, so it has to click. So we're gonna go we'll go and look for glue compressor. Pull it right here after the reverb. We're gonna set the attack to 30 milliseconds and ratio for to 0 0.1. So now for 30 milliseconds, it's just gonna keep the transient and then it's gonna squash the sound. Let's see what we can do as we push down the threshold. I'm gonna put in a MIDI so we can have a quick listen to how this sounds. Um, where's my coffee? One sec, one sec. Uh, have a look at this and I'll just go and uh, bring my coffee, all right? Be right back. During lockdowns of COVID-19 pandemic, we all remember those vividly, I believe. I looked for ways on how to bring the time-tested and truly working music production tips and tricks to everyone. And we came up with readyformasterclass.com an online platform where you can learn from me directly and learn how I do my melodies, how I stack leads, process bass lines, and overall how I produce trance and progressive using Ableton Live. There is a wide variety of masterclasses for you to choose from and we add more every month. So go check readyformasterclass.com and you can also download a free Wavetable sound bank I created for you to create your next big tune. And that's all from me now and let's go back to the chicane plug. So we have the MIDI ready now. Let's play it and let's look what we can do with a glue compressor. That's super cool, but I still think that the sound could sound a little bit more, you know, adult-like. So how about we bring in the multiband dynamics, and multiband dynamics is the tool that really makes everything pop. We're gonna take the multiband dynamics, open this little folder, and we're looking for multiband compression, and we just pull it right here before the reverb, and we're gonna put the makeup down because it's going to be loud now, and let's listen. Here it's like really pushing the sound out. It's like, ooh, like it. The last thing we need is maybe some echo or delay. So let's pull in the echo right before the reverb. And over here, I'm gonna choose to turn this off, change this to notes and notes. I'm gonna 1 8 and how about dotted? So 1 8 and 1 8 dotted. That would be our little secret. And let's have a listen. That's pretty nice, but maybe we can do that echo a little bit nicer, so let's pull it to 20%. Some high pass filtering here, some low pass filtering, and maybe some resonance here and there. Now we turn off the reverb. Let's put the reverb down. Lessen the threshold. 
little bit darker. No diffusion. Add some reflection. So now it's up to taste. This is how you can make a very nice chicken style plug in Wavetable in Ableton. I also prepared a full bank of 10 sounds that you can use for trance music, melodic techno and house and techno and whatever style you want. You'll find a link in the description to download your 10 free sounds for Ableton's Wavetable. They are all nicely packed with all the effects inside. If you found this video helpful guys, please give it a thumbs up and comment below the video. And before you go, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button so you won't miss any future uploads. Thank you very much and see you for the next one. Ciao.